Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Tractor of the Year 2021. My name is Pietro and I'm happy to be your presenter throughout this and the coming shows. Some of you might be wondering now what this Tractor of the Year is all about. Is it an agricultural sales show? Is it an infomercial for farmers? Is it a new version of the TV show Farmer Wants a Wife? Well, definitely not. Not at all. Tractor of the Year is an event and an important contest that started more than 20 years ago. And let me tell you, I'm just as excited as you to see which tractor is going to get the title Tractor of the Year 2021. Before digging deeper into Tractor of the Year or TOTI, I'm glad to welcome two guests. We begin with the lady. Her name is Lucia Salmazo. She is the Managing Director of BKT Europe, the main sponsor of Tractor of the Year. And I welcome Mr. Fabio Zamaretti, the Chairman of Tractor of the Year. Fabio, you are the organizer and the promoter of TOTI. Is there anything new or special in this edition that you would like to share with our viewers right away? Sure. First of all, let me say welcome to all of you. This is a very first edition of Tractor of the Year Digital Edition. Actually, this year we all had to rethink the way we communicate due to the difficult situation we are all going through. And I have to say that the digital world actually offers some very interesting opportunities. Lucia, it looks like you are in your element too today. Are you excited for this cool contest? Absolutely. I'm really excited about this project and cannot wait that we are getting started. Well, I think we all can't wait, but we still have not revealed exactly what TOTI is all about. What we know so far is that it is a contest for tractors. But stay with us, soon you're going to reveal a lot more details. Lucia, BKT is a leading manufacturer with agricultural tires, a big tires manufacturer, of course, with agricultural tires being a big segment. So this includes, of course, tires for tractors as well. Is it this that makes you so excited to be part of it? I'm really happy and proud of this sponsorship. You see, we at BKT love tackling challenges. If I can make some example, I would like to start with Monster Jam. You know those roaring motors similar to tractors? And for us, it has been much more than being part of a motor show. It has been a great challenge to build specific tires that are able to withstand all those mechanical stress in extreme conditions. The same goes for our CSR initiative that are always very challenging. Also in business, we are used to face challenges. For example, when we built our production site in Buj, which was a game changer and doubled our production from one day to another. Or again, speaking of tractors, when we supported JCB in their world speed record that entered the Guinness Book of Record, that was really a challenge. And it is some time that we are focusing on the digital activities following the global marketing trends. This is something very challenging for us, being a B2B company. As you can see, we love to be really dynamics. Yeah, I can see. Fabio, you must be very happy to have a sponsor like BKT on your side, on the one hand, because they love challenges, as Lucia just said. On the other hand, because BKT is already an expert of the digital world too, right? Yeah, definitely. As I'm not only happy, actually I'm honored to work with BKT and with all the team of BKT. Actually, the thing I like the most is that we share the same vision for the future. All right, thank you, Fabio and Lucia. I think it's time to tell our viewers a little more about the Tractor of the Year contest. Well, everything dates back to 1998, when the Italian magazine Trattori, which stands for tractors, had the idea to create Tractor of the Year as an international award. Since then, every year a group of expert journalists assigns the Tractor of the Year award to the best tractor on the European market. The focus lies on innovative solutions and technologies. Lucia, innovation in farming uh, machinery is a topic that regards BKT too, not only in its role as sponsor, but also in its role as a tire producer as well, right? Right, uh, of course it does. Tires are key to equipment performance. For us, it is important to always update on the latest trends in machinery development so that we can provide the best tire solutions. 
So in other words, machinery development goes hand in hand with uh, tire technology, right? Exactly. And in order to provide innovative solutions, it is also necessary to anticipate trends. This is why it is particularly interesting and stimulating for us uh, being sponsor of the Tractor of the Year event. Okay. Well, so far so good. It's time to reveal to our viewers some more details about the contest itself. Tractor of the Year is an award assigned in four different categories. We have the category for Tractor of the Year, then Best Utility, Best of Specialized and Sustainable Toti. And right from the early days, Almost all the leading magazines of this sector were involved in the project and over the years the jury has been growing until today where we have 26 jury members from both paper and digital magazines and TV shows and they are coming from 25 different countries. The jury will select the best tractors of each category according to different specific criteria. Lucia. What do you think of TOTI being subdivided into these four specific categories? I find it very inspiring uh, that there are so many categories with focus on different parameters. I mean, like in the real world, there is uh, no one piece of super equipment, but everything always depends on the kind of application, jobs or operating condition when it comes uh, to choosing particularly your farming machinery. The election to Tractor of the Year is a long and meticulous process that usually starts already in February, when the organizers get in touch with the tractor manufacturers to find out which tractors the manufacturers would like to compete in the Tractor of the Year contest. Fabio, one big question we all are dying to know now is what are the models that are participating to this year's edition? Well, as you said, Tractor of the Year is a long and detailed process that actually lasts all the year long and it takes a lot of work from the jury. The jury has the responsibility to select and to evaluate the tractors. It takes a lot of work also from the manufacturer point of view because they are always involved in all the phases of Tractor of the Year. But coming to your question, I'm afraid there is no much I can say about the tractors, at least not yet. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I know this is hard. I'd really love to tell you the models right now, but if I want to keep my job, I better stick to the plan. But I promise we're about to reveal at least the participating brands. So while we cannot talk about the tractor models now, we dive deeper into the contest, especially into its four categories, with the first one being Tractor of the Year. Fabio, can you describe this category in a few words? Sure. Tractor of the Year is the historical category, the one that gave the name to the World Contest, the one that was born in 1998. And this category is dedicated to open field tractors with no limits. Okay, then let's take a look at its voting parameters. We have engine, transmission, electronics, hydraulics, cab comfort, innovative technical features, options, design, connectivity and precision farming. Well, it's quite a lot of criteria, I'd say, so let's go step by step to understand what's important for each criterion. And we begin with electronics. So, Fabio, what are the key aspects in terms of electronics? Well, I'm going to give you a few examples. In this case, the jury has to evaluate the electronic on board, which function is to command the implements. Or another example could be the electronic diagnostic system. Or another example could be the electronic that allows the dialogue between engine and transmission. In other words, the jury has to evaluate the full package of electronics offered by that specific tractor. I see. And uh, what about innovative technical features? Can you give us some examples? Sure. That's a really good one, especially because innovative technical features can be very different from one tractor to another. You can have a tractor with trucks instead of wheels, which can be considered a kind of innovation. Otherwise, you can have a new armorist that, thanks to its design and ergonomic, can make much easier and intuitive the use of several commands. Or you can have a semi-autonomous driving system. So the jury has to spot what is innovative on that specific tractor. All right. And what about um, precision agriculture and connectivity? Is that all about, I don't know, sensor technology and stuff like that? Well, it's all about new technologies. It's all about digitalization and connectivity, which are becoming more and more important for our industry. For one side, new technologies can make the everyday use of a tractor a kind of a 
better experience. From the other side, they make the everyday job with a tractor a much more efficient experience. Okay, Lucia, what do you find and consider particularly interesting in this category? I feel it is quite important that there are so many parameters that are taken into consideration. Only this uh, can give you a full picture on current market trends. So, I guess you all are very curious now to know the brands competing in the Tractor of the Year category. And here they come. The brands are Armatrack, Case IH, Class, Fent, Landini, Cubota, Messi Ferguson, New Holland, and Steyr. Okay, now it's time for our next category, which goes by the name of Best Utility. Fabio, what is the main focus of Best Utility? Well, Best Utility is a category dedicated to multi-purpose and utility tractors, tractors with more than 70 horsepower, uh, maximum four cylinders engine and maximum operating weight 8,900 kilos. Sounds quite interesting. Maybe to help our viewers or even to help me <laughs> understand better, you can give us some examples of tasks sure. these tractors are designed for. Yeah. Uh, utility tractor is what you also call sort of the everyday tractor. Actually, you can use these kind of tractors for some light works on field or you can use these tractors to actually move loads within the farm, or you can use this kind of tractors to actually do some transportation works. So more or less, they must be versatile. Okay, for this category, the voting parameters are engine, transmission, hydraulics, comfort, innovative technical features, options, design and versatility. So what aspects must the jury particularly pay attention to? Well, I have to say that the jury has to pay attention to each single parameter. But in general terms, we can say that utility tractors must be very easy to use, very easy to maneuver, and they must be very, very versatile. Okay, now let's discover the brands competing for best utility. The brands are Armatrack, Case IH, Fent, Cubota, and Voltra. The next category of our contest is Best of Specialized. Lucia, as a specialist uh, for farming tires, you're probably also a specialist for tractors as well. Can you explain this category to us, maybe with a special focus on our market, which is the Italian market? Let me say that this is one of the categories I find particularly interesting. Best of Specialized includes uh, orchard, vineyard, hill and mountain tractors. We have many of these applications and land conditions in Italy. They require special attention, also in thermal tires, of course. All right, that's quite interesting. Fabio, now we are curious to know the voting parameters of this. Category. Right. Voting parameters for best specialized are engine, transmission, comfort, agility, and design. But uh, I fully agree with Lucia. I mean, these kind of tractors, they have a specific mission to do on field. Okay, now let's discover the brands competing for best of specialized. The brands are Antonio Carraro, Fent, Landini, and Voltra. And now we come to the last category of uh, TOTI 2021. It's called Sustainable TOTI, which is a rather new category, isn't it? Definitely. This is a brand new category. We introduced this category only last year. And what we want to do with this category is to focus on some key elements. I mean, when we talk about sustainability, it's a big word. But we must clarify what we consider as sustainability when we talk about an industrial product, such as an agricultural tractor. Okay, what is so special about this category? Well, many things are special. The one I like the most is that it's a kind of an open category. You must think that all the shortlisted tractors of the three main category run for the sustainable TOTI. Okay, so is sustainable TOTI like the greenest tractor of the year or is there more to it? Not at all. <laughs> it's oh, not an award to the greenest tractor. Actually, uh, pollution levels are ruled by international laws. What we want to do is to uh, take into consideration the industrial approach under the sustainability point of view. Okay, 
Now, Fabio, what are the voting criteria for this category? There you go. In this case, the, the jury has to go through a very deep journalistic analysis. They must evaluate the tractors by having in mind the industry sustainability megatrends, such as digitalization, automation, servitization, electrification, and alternative fuels. Industry megatrends, um, what does that all mean when applied to the world of tractors? Well, it's all about new technologies. We must think about intelligence of things, internet of things, big data analysis, together with new types of engines, such as electric engine, gas engine, hybrid engines. I mean, how all of that technology will make future tractors more safe, more reliable, more efficient, and less polluting. Well, this sounds like a real challenge, doesn't it, Lucia? Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, sustainability is a very manifold and challenging topic for all the manufacturers involved. Okay. After this quite comprehensive overview of our four categories, we'd like to wish good luck to all the participants who from now on will be voted by our jury. And speaking of our jury, our 26 members come from 25 different countries, from the UK to Germany, from Switzerland to Belgium and Turkey, from north to south, from west to east. And now we will get to know two of our jury members a bit better. Our first one comes from Sweden and he has recorded a message for us. Hello everyone, it's a real pleasure being here for this edition of Tractor of the Year 2021. My name is Anders Nilén. I'm jury member representing Sweden broadcasting from the Swedish Farming News Studio. And I have been in the jury since the year 2000. During the years of TOTI, start in 1998, there have always been some change to make it better and more professional. This year it is a lot of change due to the pandemic situation. But we in the jury have a plan and the TOTI will be almost as professional like last year's. So let the challenge begin. That's all from my side. The line goes back to the studio. Thank you very much, Anders, and the best of greetings to Sweden. Now, I'm happy to present you a special jury member. He's special because he is a real veteran of TOTI. Hello, everyone. My name is Jan Beckmann from the German magazine Lohnunternehmen. We focus on farm contractors, such as the jury members from Denmark and United Kingdom. We strongly add the competence of big tractors to a jury to balance with orchard and vineyard tractors. You know, TOTI is an international project, so the price is always an international compromise, a good compromise. Yes, we joined the jury in 2000 after the fear of the millennium bug had disappeared. In those days, we were more or less idealist, trying to offer our readers another and more neutral um, aspect of tractors. Just to point out, we are still idealist because TOTI is a free, independent international organization. The TOTI increased and is getting more professional. We even want a sponsor, so today we can host the manufacturers during their presentations and the prize giving in Hanover or Bologna. You know, tractors nowadays are no longer simple machines with a driver on it, but complex systems with operators. Sustainability, connectivity, and the whole system around the corner is getting more and more important. It's getting more and more complex as well, and despite internet and online media, it's getting too complex for most of the farmers and farm contractors. This development delivers new challenges for independent journalists such as the jury members of TOTI. We monitor and attend all the trends, and of course, we are very curious and ambitious what the future will bring. So that's it from the very dry Germany. I'll pass back to the studio. Herzlichen Dank für Ihren Beitrag, Jan Beckmann aus Deutschland, Jan Beckmann from Germany. <coughs> After these two contributions from Europe, we move a bit farther away to the home country of our main sponsor, BKT, which is India. We have a message from the chairman and managing director of BKT, Mr. Arvind Padar. Let me say hello. I've always believed in growing together with our partners. 
we have many partnerships both in business and as a sponsor and each partnership is something special one of a kind i would say tractor of the year is a true institution and an actual benchmark in agriculture aiming at innovation since we see ourselves as innovator in the tire industry it is particularly stimulating being partner of this event this gives us the opportunity to follow latest trend in the tractor development closely good luck to everyone thank you mr podar and now let me say hello to his son too mr rajiv podar joint managing director of bkt hello everybody at home and in the studio as you know i am a great supporter of sports and all kinds of challenges tractor of the year is an industrial challenge among tractor manufacturers racing for innovation and sustainability we are a proud sponsor of the tractor of the year and i am personally happy to be part of this challenge wishing everybody good luck with this challenge thank you mr podar senior and junior for your comments i hope we'll have more chances to welcome you in our show Fabio Tractor of the Year has issued its own white paper 2021 and its title reads The Evolution of Tractors in the Agricultural Environment. So what's the idea behind this white paper? Well, actually, <clears throat> the Totti white paper is a kind of a document that gives a general picture of the state of the art of tractor industry and which are the future challenges for the agricultural tractor industry. And what is the goal of the Toti White Paper 2021? Is it to stimulate tractor manufacturers? Yeah, sure. The role of Toti is also to bring some contents which might be industry, not only for the industry itself, but also for the general public. Let's think about the, the future. By 2050, there will be 9 billion people living on this planet. 70% of them will live in big urban areas, and the food demand will increase up to 70%. So that means that agricultural mechanization will play an extremely important role for the world. Well, in addition to agricultural mechanization and its importance, inside your white paper there are chapters dedicated to connectivity and precision agriculture, driving experience, agriculture 4.0, to the question about ICE still being the only solution for agricultural machinery and so on. Is there anything particular that you would like to emphasize for our viewers? Sure. First of all, I would like you to download this document. It's very easy to find. You can easily find it, and it's free on our website, tractoroftheyear.org. And the focus of this document is on innovation. In all of that, Tractor of the Year has a role to work beside the industry, to support and to push the industry in finding some new and alternative solution that will make future tractors capable to accomplish the challenging targets for the future. Fabio, thanks a lot for this overview. And you, dear viewers, please don't forget that in the coming weeks, there will be a series of dedicated shows, one for each of the just mentioned topics. Connectivity, Agriculture 4.0, and Driving Experience. Well, I'm quite sure all of you out there are interested in learning more about these topics. Therefore, I recommend you to join us for our next episodes too. Well, it's time to wrap this first show up. I'd like to thank my studio guests, Lucia and Fabio, for being with me. I would like to thank all our external guests for their messages. And a big thank you, of course, goes out to you, dear viewers. My name is Pietro. I see you on the next episode of Tractor of the Year 2021. Don't miss it. Join us and let the challenge begin.